this is Stacey and Megan. With our second What We're Cooking and Eating Now bonus episode. Instead of doing these once a season, as a regular episode, we're going to share two short episodes every month in addition to our regular weekly episodes where we give you a real-time rundown of what we're cooking for our families. In each of these episodes, we'll talk you all the way through one recipe and then we'll list five others. All in, you're going to get six easy weeknight dinner ideas that we have tested. You can use our ideas as inspiration or literally turn them into your meal plan for next week. Hot tip. We're sharing the links for all the recipes mentioned in our free community, which you can join by going to didn'tijustfeedyou.com backslash community. All you have to do is enter your email, which we keep private and look out for our posts with all the what we're cooking and eating now deets. All right, let's do it. These are quick ones, Megan. Let's jump in. And why don't you start? What have you cooked for your family this week? Okay. What have I cooked for my family this week? (laughs) It's always such a great question. And do you know that one of the things I have to do before we record these is like go through my camera roll because I'm weirdly like document a lot of what we eat. And I'm like, what did we eat this week? Even if I wrote down a meal plan, like, because sometimes, you know, you plan, you plan your work and then you work your plan totally. however you need to. Oh, that's your favorite phrase. You it's love my that favorite about. meal planning <laughs> phrase. <Yes. laughs> okay. So one thing I was really excited about from this week, and I'm going to be clear, I was really excited about it and I'll tell how the rest of my family reacted to it, was that I had a, a small pork shoulder from one of our Moink boxes. We've been doing Moink since they um, were a sponsor. And you can still go to moink.com and do backslash didn't I just feed you and use our D-I-J-F-Y as a coupon code. And right now they're giving away free filet mignon for a year with every box you get. If you use our code, they're not, this is not sponsored. They're not currently a sponsor, but they still are friends and we love getting their boxes. Anyways, small pork shoulder. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to pop it into the instant pot before we leave for the day. This was like on a Sunday and we had a bunch of errands to run. So I did. And then I had like, just basically seasoned it with garlic and salt and put a little bit of water in there to sort of like steam it. Okay, so it wait, shredded slow pork. us down. Like you rubbed it with garlic powder or garlic salt or fresh oh, garlic Oh, I literally minced. like just seasoned it with salt. Okay. Threw it in the Instant yeah. Pot. Threw in like four to five cloves of garlic. Did you mince them first or whole? No, whole. Awesome. Like just to give me garlic yeah. aroma. Again, like yeah. on the fly. Awesome. Like I don't know how we're going to eat this. But if I have shredded pork, I can turn it into any kind of dinner when and we get And then about home. like an inch of water? Yeah, I, th- I think it was like actually a cup. Okay. So for my little, it was like a two to three pound pork. Okay. I think it was yeah. three pounds. Um, it was pretty average. Did, boneless. Yeah. Yeah. Boneless. Yep. I did 45 minutes on high pressure and then we just left it. So it like l- had a long, slow, yep. natural release. Yep. So then at dinner time, I just had this like shredded pork. And I was like, oh, this will be great. I will use one of the Omsom packets that I bought <gasps> yes. and make lettuce wraps. So I use the larb seasoning, which is so delicious. It's like very tart and it comes with like the, the pulverized rice. Yes. Yeah, it's rice powder. Yeah. It gives a yes. little crunch. It gives a little crunch oh, and it's best. also like super spicy. So this is like a hot tip not a hot tip. You know the strategy if you're a long-time listener of Didn't I Just Feed You because I have a kid. I have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Picky they in different exist. ways. I like finally minced the shredded pork and heated up half of it with a little bit of the cooking liquid. So like just garlic, yep. pea, water, and salt. But then I did the larb seasoning on a bigger portion for Brian and I. And I was so excited. I made like rice noodles for the kids to have on the side. The larb seasoning is so delicious, but the larb seasoning has a little bit of fish sauce in it. Yeah. And it really upset Ella. She could (laughs) just smelling it. Just smelling yeah, it. Like totally. we brought that our bowls. Yes. Yes. So we ended up with more like bowls instead of lettuce wraps. Like I was like frustrated by Ella being like, what is that smell? Yeah. And me being <laughs> yes. like, don't yuck on my yum. I'm excited to eat this. <laughs> and your portion doesn't have any on it. So we ended up with rice bowls and they were like so delicious. And it was that kind of frustrating parenting thing where you're like, I'm making this to feed myself. Yes. 
and I want to enjoy it. But the whole time Ella was like holding her nose and putting food in her mouth. She's like, I don't know if I can eat at the table with you. Do you know that Oliver, he doesn't do it so much anymore. He's growing out of it. Parmesan cheese, which I'm like, that's, that's going like to be the, the most table delicious smell in the world. <laughs> also, it, like, get used to it, kid. Like, yes. I cannot accept that. It, But it is so frustrating. It's hard to remember that our smell is such a huge part of our taste, that those two yes. senses are linked. And you feel like I've already gone out of my way to make sure that you don't taste this fish sauce. Because I know you're going to like, Oliver used to put his tongue on things first before he fully put it in his mouth. Like, uh, 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 like I'm tasting it. Like, I've already protected you from that. Now you're going to complain about the freaking smell? Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But did she end up eating it? Her portion. She ended up eating her portion. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. But then okay. I felt like dinner was a little bit annoying, ruined for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. It's let's okay. Keep it it happens tacks. like that. Let's give it to breast tacks, though. Rice noodles, did you dress them with anything? I did a little bit of soy sauce and rice vinegar, Great. which my kids lo- both yes. like. And we do that often for just even plain rice, too. Okay. And then any vegetables? We did shredded lettuce. Uh, sliced English cucumbers uh, and avocado. Awesome. So like nothing I had to cook, which I haven't fully digested this idea yet, but I think that there's some sort of strategy where if you're like, can plan and prep it in a certain way, you only have to cook one thing at dinner time. And that was like, yeah. I cooked the pork. Yes. The rice noodles you can like soak in hot water. So you're not really actively cooking them. Or cook them ahead. Or cook them ahead. And so then all I had to do is like cook the pork and chop up the vegetables. Yeah. It's time to eat. That's yeah. awesome. And it sounds delicious. Okay. It was so good. I highly recommend if anyone has heard Stacy talk about Om Sum because I, I heard her list, talk about it all the time last year. And I finally ordered some for myself and like so worth it. Guess what's on my list too? Yes. Okay, but go ahead. You okay. owe us two other ideas quickly. Two so other you walked ideas. us through okay. that one. What are your other two things? Okay, the other thing is a sheet pan lemon pepper salmon with potatoes and leeks. Yeah, my love leeks so much. Aren't leeks the greatest? I like, love I for- leeks. I forget to buy them. Yeah. And the way we did, like not to walk through the whole thing, but the the way we did it was like to roast the potatoes and the leeks on the sheet pan mm-hmm. first and then add the salmon. And like they get like caramelized and like so soft, the leeks did under the potatoes. It was so good. That so sounds good. delicious. Oh, another picky eater moment. Ella, once again, <laughs> fish is really a problem for her. If you've listened to our fish episode, you know this. <laughs> She does not eat salmon. So when I do a meal like that, I've been getting chicken drumsticks in our moink order. And when we do like salmon for dinner, because both the rest of us really love that, I'll just roast a couple of chicken wings or chicken drumsticks for her. And she loves that. So she'll eat like all the potato, the same vegetables, but have a different purpose. You're so kind. You know, Oliver won't eat salmon anymore either. And I don't Isn't do it anything. She used to eat it so oh, much as a little kid, and totally. she'd be like, "It's mermaid." We'd be like, "Oh, this is what Ariel eats," which I don't think so because she's like friends with the. Also, fish. that's weird. Mermaid, whatever, okay. whatever works. No, it's weird on so many levels, right? Uh, he okay, also anyways. loved salmon. Stopped eating it. Refuses, and I've started refusing making anything else for him but he loves usually i have like rice noodles or rice and he loves like raw vegetables so he'll grab some tomatoes he'll eat half of an avocado and cucumber and just make like an avocado rice bowl or noodle bowl for himself yes, with vinegar yes. and soy sauce but it's annoying to me it's so <laughs> annoying and i'm really at the point we we might have to go into like a full length episode to talk about this I'm really annoyed at making sometimes two meals for her, but we're also at this weird like body image and she's yes. like, starting to be aware of what she's totally. eating. And all I want is for her to just like eat enough. Yes. I hear you. Yes. We have another uh, annoying thing. Oliver announced last night that he doesn't like chickpeas. I was like, those are lies. What you're saying is a lie. You like chickpeas. He was like, <laughs> I don't. I was like, you cannot do this to me. Do you feel like you're being provoked? I feel like you're being provoked. (laughs) He ate around them. I made a chickpea soup. I'll talk about it later. 
Go. Okay. I'll just say my last one. Yeah. Which we can just link directly to the recipe I made. Um, pa- Patty Catalano, my BFF who writes for the kitchen and is in our community, her Philly cheesesteak skillet pasta what? that I used. Yeah, so good. I used bulk sausage instead of beef because we didn't have any. We just had bulk sausage that needed to be used up. Um, I forget to make it regularly, but it's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I need, I mean, I've never seen the recipe before, but I'm linking on it. It's in, it's okay. in next week's plan. Oh my yes. gosh. That sounds delish. So good. Peppers, onions, you know, Jeez. cheesy, melty, <laughs> like one skillet. Sure to please. Okay. So tell us about the chickpea. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> So I found a recipe that I used to make all the time, a spiced chickpea soup, which I served with garlic bread and just like a big green salad, like half spinach, half romaine, and a bunch of like vegetables. I used to make this soup all the time. I'm going to pop it onto my current website so that uh, we can link to it. It is so easy. It takes 20 minutes to make. It's like you put everything in a pan you let it simmer and then you puree half of it so that you Mm. have a little bit of texture next time i'm going to puree the whole thing the kid eats all the soup just happy he's like is this tomato soup i was like no it's chickpea soup so he eats all the broth which is basically pureed chickpeas and he leaves all the whole chickpeas and says i don't like chickpeas i was like but you've been eating chickpeas there's chickpeas in the broth (laughs) it's not a tomato broth it's a tomato chickpea broth. And he was like, well, I don't like chickpeas. What is the problem with chickpeas? I, Oliver. He's snacked on them. Curries, like everything. Like chickpeas are a go-to. This is absolutely the first time he has said it. It was very annoying. Anyway. Wait, <laughs> can, you, can we that. do a little marketing technique here? Can you start calling them garbanzo beans that's a great idea actually that's a great idea because these are not chickpeas these are their garbanzo beans he'll probably be like oh delicious although he knows what they look like but i i mean hummus hello he eats hummus like how will you live without chickpeas in your life he he will this is all some sort of mind game (laughs) okay so we had the spiced chickpea soup we'll link to it I mentioned already that I also cooked with Omsum. So I, uh, on their website, they have a recipe for mala longevity noodles. And mala is the name of their um, Chinese seasoning. I think on the Chinese line, because they have like Chinese, Vietnamese, Thai, Thai, uh, Korean. So if I'm remembering correctly, the mala seasoning pack is the only one in their Chinese line. And uh, I just followed the recipe as is. It's like sauteed scallions and mushrooms and noodles and their seasoning. I also had some leftover Instant Pot short ribs. Mm. So I added that. And then I served green beans that I just blanched. And while they were warm, I just dressed them in soy sauce and lime juice, a two to one ratio with a splash of fish sauce, which Ella would completely disapprove (laughs) of. (laughs) I'm not eating it. I know. And then chopped scallions. (laughs) And I have to say the reason why I'm getting specific about the green beans is because we eat green beans a lot. It's one of the vegetables that both of my boys like. And they're starting to get sick of my like go-to preparations, which is either just roasting them sometimes with garlic, sometimes not, or like steaming them and then quickly sauteing them in butter after I've steamed them. And this was a win, this green bean preparation. And then the last thing I made was something I've posted about on Instagram, the pasta queen. She's a like viral TikTok. She's fun. And she's funny. very fun. Yeah. Uh, she has a creamy broccoli pasta that caught my eye once because basically you take the broccoli and you cook in a little water and then you puree half of it and you cook the pasta like a short pasta in that. So you mm. don't cook the pasta separately. It ends up being yeah. a one pot thing. And then you do some other really fun things to make it cheesy and creamy at the end. And my kids love it. So I made that again and we'll link to it. I'm putting your pasta on my meal plan. Oh yeah. You're putting my pasta on your meal plan. I love it. This is such a helpful episode. <laughs> 
We hope it so is, had, right? So glad we're doing it. Uh, we can't leave this episode without thanking the generous support of our Didn't I Just Feed You supporting membership because their support makes this bi-monthly series possible. You can find out more about becoming a supporting member at didn'tijustfeedyou.com backslash community. And hey, if it's not the right time for you, don't forget that you can get all the links to this week's What We're Cooking and Eating Now by joining the free section of our community. A huge thank you also to our editor, Samantha Gatsik. Thanks for listening, guys. Stay sane and well-fed. Until next time.